Hi, this is Zach Darris with Access New England, and in the minutes that follow, I will be showing you how to set up a DALSA Genie Gigabit Ethernet camera for communication with the DALSA Sherlock Vision software. There are a number of steps involved in the process, and if you run into any problems or need any further explanation or overview of the software being used, please feel free to give us a call at 978-774-7100 or email us at applications at accessne.com. We are available for assistance from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, Eastern Standard Time. Now let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is install the Genie Gigabit Ethernet drivers. So go to the folder where you unzipped the Genie files and double click on Genie 1.8. And this is going to be a basic Windows installation. So once it's ready, just click Next, Yes, Next, Next, and let it run. Once the installation is complete, simply click OK. Now we will install the Sapera LT runtime. So go to where you extracted Sapera LT and double click on setup. Then click on next, next, yes, next, next, and let the installation run. When it prompts you to restart the computer, click on No and then Finish as we will be restarting it later. Lastly, we are going to install the Sherlock software. So go to where you extracted Sherlock and run the setup utility. And hit next, agree to the terms, hit next, 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 and next. Now after this is finished, it's going to prompt you again to restart. This time you can click on yes. I'm going to click no for now, but go ahead and click yes and restart your computer. Once you've restarted your computer, go ahead and plug in the Genie, and now we will set up our Gigabit Ethernet port. So go down to your Start menu, Control Panel, View Network Status and Tasks, and then click on Local Area Connection, and Properties. Now in this window, click on the DALSA driver, and then click on the Configure button. And at the prompt, just click Yes. Now go to the Advanced tab in the new window, and scroll until you get to the Receive Buffers. And then click on the arrow above it after you click it to maximize this value. Once it's maxed out, click on the transmit buffers and max out this value as well. Now once you're done, you can click OK to get out of this and close out all your windows. Now it'll take windows uh, probably around 30 seconds to reconnect to the camera, so I'll give it a little bit of time. You can check on the status by clicking the little up arrow button and you see a little blue camera with an X over it, so it hasn't found it yet. Once it prompts you that it's found it, you can click the little up arrow button down by the task window and double click on the blue camera. And now you should see your camera listed here.
Now if for some reason your camera did not show up, go back down to the start menu, click on control panel, view network status and tasks, local area connection, and then properties. Then click on internet protocol version 4 and then properties again. Check to make sure that your IP addresses are set to be obtained automatically. If they are not, please contact our applications group and we will help you in troubleshooting the issue. Once the camera has been recognized by Windows, it's time to make a camera file. So go down to Start Menu, All Programs, DALSA, Sapera LT, and then Cam Expert. When it prompts you to take a tutorial, just click on No. Now click on Grab. Images should start coming into Sapera LT. If you don't see any images, please contact our applications group and we will help you troubleshoot the issue. Once you're getting images, click on Freeze, then go up to File, Save As. Now this will be saving a camera file. Please note the current address as C, DALSA, Sapera, Cam Files, and User. You can change this if you like. We're going to name our camera file Test, then click OK. and then click Yes. Now you can close out of Sapera LT. Now we will set up Sherlock for acquiring Gigabit Ethernet images. Go down to your Start menu, click on All Programs, Teledyne DALSA, Sherlock, and then Sapera Acquisition Wizard. Now in here set Use Config File to True, and then next to config file, browse for your camera file that you saved. Once you've found the file, select it and then click open. Then hit save and exit. The last step involves opening Sherlock itself. So go down to your Start menu, All Programs, Teledyne DALSA, Sherlock, and then open Sherlock. Once Sherlock is opened, go up to the top toolbar and go to Options, Acquisition, and you want to enable Sapera LT, nothing else. Once this is done, click OK, and then exit Sherlock so the change will take place and you can reopen it. Once it's exited, reopen Sherlock. Images should immediately start streaming into Sherlock. From here, you can continue with division programming or exit Sherlock. At this point, Sherlock is now set up with the Genie camera and you've completed this tutorial. Thanks for watching our tutorial on setting up the DALSA Genie cameras. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we are available for assistance from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, Eastern Standard Time. Please feel free to give us a call at 978-774-7100 or email us at applications at axisne.com.